assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udu technical developer so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, how to manage multi currency if you are uh, working on any module and you want to convert one currency amount to another currency so we will discuss this in uh, this video so first of all you will have to activate the debug mode and then you will have to uh, like activate the multi currency so that you can see the field of the currency on the invoice so if i show you uh, on the invoice you have uh, so like in Udu, you have one of the base currency which is set on the company if i show you and one is the secondary uh, currency which is uh, like uh, set on the invoice or any other record okay so when you create an invoice and post it so it will create journal entry which will be in the base currency like uh, the currency defined on the uh, company but uh, you can create the invoice in uh, your choice company okay so let me just show you so uh, in order to activate the multi currency setup you need to go to the configuration and then settings and then you will uh, here you will see the option multi currencies okay so uh, activate this option and then uh, click the save button to save this uh, settings okay so after this uh, the page will reload and uh, on the invoice screen you will be able to see uh, the currency field so you can uh, create the invoice in whatever you want okay let me open it so here you can see this uh, invoice is currently in uh, euro currency so you can change it accordingly what we are going to do is here is uh, to show the amount in uh, the company currency so currently this amount is in the currency which is selected here so for example if i change it to pkr the amount this will change like rs and if you change it to usd this will change to usd okay so this works like this uh, so let me just add one more field uh, just after this test amount and we will compute that uh, the amount in the best currency so uh, we have already a customized module i don't uh, want to create just a new module so you already know how to create a custom module and you also know how to add the uh, field to the invoice lines if you don't know you can just uh, watch this video how to add new uh, field in the invoice lines which is available on our youtube channel okay so let me just click quickly add a field uh, amount in a uh, company currency okay like this just close this is equal to fields dot float and uh, amount in company currency okay and we will make it computed field so that it computes on every change okay compute uh, amount in company currency okay so let me just copy it and then create the function like this here we need to use the for loop line in self because this is a computed field okay so here we need to use um, here we need to use the method to uh, compute the amount in the secondary uh, main in the base uh, currency so first of all we will have to uh, define a field like amount uh, but first of all we need to uh, just uh, like compute the price unit so let me just check the field of the price unit which is uh, price unit okay so uh, price unit uh, price is equal to um, here we need to use the currency like let me just first drive the code currency id dot uh, compute amount here we need to pass the fields like a uh, line dot price unit and here we need to pass the currency which is a uh, line dot uh, company id dot currency id okay so let me just save this field uh, line dot amount in company currency is equal to price 
multiplied by quantity which will be the total amount okay line that quantity okay this is what we have done in the python then we will have to add this field uh, in the xml so let me open this file and just uh, add this field here and then here so why we are adding it two times uh, there is a reason behind this so you just need to watch that video which i showed you already to understand uh, the reason behind this okay so let me upgrade this uh, module uh, and so i have already added the upgraded uh, command so on the server uh, on the auto restart it will automatically get updated so let me just restart or uh, refresh this uh, page okay okay so we got an error message what is the error which is a uh, company the dot compute amount is it can say no compute amount okay so let me just check it in the default code what is the method for this purpose in order to check it we need to search it uh, like this which is compute oh okay oh, it is only compute not compute amount okay so we just made a mistake which is uh, here in the compute method it is like this so just restart uh, all the service okay and I refresh the browser okay so uh, it will take just a bit of time because it is upgrading the module okay and then the browser will uh, refresh okay so here uh, here you can see amount in company currency which is 450 so currently the currency on the company is euro and the currency on the uh, company is also euro so therefore the uh, uh, this and this is same so let me change the currency to pkr and then i'll let me save it okay so once i save it you can see it changes to 3.90 so 3.90 is the value of uh, euro and subtotal is in, in pkr so therefore uh, but we need to change it instantly we change the currency okay so for this purpose we will have to add api uh, dot depends api dot depends and in the api dot depends we need to add uh, something like uh, price unit if price unit changes it should be recomputed quantity changes it should be recomputed and then uh, uh, in move id dot uh, company changes it should change and move id dot currency changes okay it should update so let me refresh uh, ref restart all the service and then let's see uh, what will happen if you change the currency of the invoice so let me ref uh, refresh the page okay okay so let me change the currency so currently it is pkr and it is showing like uh, 3.90 if we change it to usd so it automatically changing okay so you can see it is automatically changing for 450 okay usd if you save it like this okay so this is how you can uh, work with multi-company uh, and you can convert the amount from one currency to another currency this is the important method that you need to keep in mind is compute so the first currency is like uh, from which currency you want to convert you want to convert from this currency to this currency okay to the company currency you want to convert from the invoice currency to the company currency okay so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and if you want to watch uh, such videos uh, so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you will get the notification of the videos once uploaded thank you